Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Um, it's been a little bit since we've done a figure unboxing, but C2E2 was this weekend and I got a couple things that I really wanted to unbox that hopefully you saw in our haul video, but now I'm going to be doing a more detailed review of each of the figures and it's going to be a good time. So strap in and uh, here we go. So this obviously is the Daedric Warrior, and the box is so long I can't fit it into the damn frame. Uh, the Daedric Warrior from the uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim series, it's the Legacy Collection. Uh, on the back you've got a nice Dovahkin, and it says Dovahkin's number one, Daedric Warrior's number two. It's made by Funko. Not a whole lot going on with this box. It's a pretty standard flat card box. So let's get this bad boy open. And here's the Daedric Warrior out of the packaging. And I gotta say, I already love this figure. Um, Elder Scrolls is one of my favorite video game series. So I've been curious about these figures for a while. I haven't seen them in a little bit. Um, but I found the Daedric Warrior at C2E2. Didn't see Dovahkin, but got him for only 10 bucks. So I couldn't resist picking him up just out of my curiosity. Um, and so far, this is a great figure. Um, let's take a look at the axe first off. Uh, I think it looks awesome. It does have little faint red paint uh, running right through here, a little bit in there and there. Uh, it looks great. It looks just like the, the in-game model of the Daedric uh, axe, which is awesome. It's pretty sharp right here on the end, so that kind of, uh, it's a little pointy. I do wish the red was a little bit uh, uh, of a more brighter red, kind of like the glowing effect it has, uh, at least in the game, but it's still, it's really, it's really awesome. It's sculpted very well. It's got these nice rivets in the axe, and it's got all sorts of texture all over. And that theme pretty much continues with the figure as well. I think he looks great. The horns are all soft plastic which is awesome so it's not brittle I'm not gonna worry about breaking it um, or poking myself to death um, as you can see he doesn't have it's just a black like shiny reflective skull underneath which is fine um, it looks just like the armor how it has just those dark black eye pits uh, the chest has got it's very detailed look at all of this like right here this little like design um, you can see that this is red. Uh, it's more of like a very dark red burgundy. It's pretty, it's actually kind of hard to see on camera. Uh, same thing with the arms are red right here and red right here. The feet, everything, look at just, this is so well detailed. I really like this, even on the back of the figure. The detail carries over with the little like, almost like wings that are like, protruding out of his shoulders, the pauldrons. Um, and honestly, Funko killed it with this figure. I know some of their other figures are pretty disappointing, but I'd have to say I really like this guy. He is looking good, and I really want Dovahkiin now and the other Fallout figures. So, um, as for articulation, it kind of sucks, but um, I didn't really expect much, I guess. But... I don't know, he's really stiff, like right out of the packaging. He was just stiffer than anything. I'm definitely going to have to work it in with him, but um, his head sort of moves up, sort of moves down. Not really much. Uh, you get the side to side, which is good. His arms move up like that. The armor restricts it, but not so much just because it's actually soft. So good thinking on that Funko. So he does get the full wingspan up. He doesn't have a bicep cut. His uh, elbow swivels and moves up and down and his wrists move up and down and swivel as well. Same goes for this arm. Same deal. He has um, very minor ab crunch. He can twist side to side and he has double jointed knees, which is awesome. And he can kick out this far. Um, you get, I think this is restricting it just a little bit, this little bit right here. But I mean, if I really wanted to force it, looks like his leg can go very high in the air. 
I actually just dis dislocated it a little bit there. <laughs> uh, the legs go out this much. Again, they get restricted by this, but you're really not going to be posing this Daedric warrior in any sort of elaborate pose where he's doing weird leg kicks. Oh, he also uh, ankle moves up and down just a little bit and no ankle pivot. WTF. Now I can't get him in really cool stances. Now he just has to stand like a statue. I really like ankle pivot. Um, I mean, but who doesn't though? The axe is kind of a pain to get in his hand. It's way bigger than his hand, so you kind of have to stretch it out and then insert it and kind of reclose his hand around it, which is a little, little grievance, minor annoyance. Um, see, that's his only accessory is the axe, and he's got this hand, which uh, just kind of clawed again. Super nice detail. I think it looks really good. So you can only put the axe in the one hand and then kind of, you know, just, I don't know, do whatever you will with this hand. Crush the fate of the world. Oh yeah, he's got wrist uh, pivot too. <laughs> I think I said that. I don't know. So now he's crushing the weight of the world. Yeah, so overall great figure. Really dig it. I would suggest picking it up. I'd, I'd pay the full 20 for this if I knew how awesome it was, but now I do. So if I find Dovakin, um... He's definitely getting bought too. So if you like this video, please like, thumb, thumb up the video. Yeah, you wanna thumb up the video. And then you should subscribe. And then you should share all of these videos with your grandma, cause she will appreciate it, I guarantee it. Until next time, this is Nate, signing off.